All right, the panel is complete. Not the prettiest, but uh, I would say it's fairly functional. At the very least, you got a pretty piece of stained glass style artwork for your wall. So now that we have it together, why don't we see? Uh, let's see what it does. So, multimeter. Inside the warehouse, and we're getting, uh, well, without me blocking the panel, we're getting 8.31 volts. With me standing in front of the panel, it drops down to 6.63. Let's see what happens as we wheel it out into the sun. We're now up to, as we're getting closer to the garage door, we're up to 10.7, 10, 11, 12. Panel is not in any sunlight yet. We're up to 12.86. Panels in indirect sun, 14, 14. Well, now it's dropping a bit. Seems as the panel is getting, getting sun. Shot way up to like 14.2. Now we're down to 14. 13.99. I do not know why this is. Probably could be something to do with heat build up in the pa panel. Um... So about 13.9. So let's give a try. Something to try here. Let's see. What do I have laying around? Oh, I could have used one of these a couple days ago. Huh. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> Ooh, spark plug coils. That might be fun. Painful but fun. Ooh. Let's give that a try. Let's see. I don't know if that's any good. Just some things to try our panel out with. There, I think this one should be good. Seems to have dropped down to 13.62, and it's still dropping. Hi. Ooh. Apparently, we've got more than enough power for a horn. Solid powered horn.
Looks like we do have enough juice for a 30 watt light bulb. Is it 30, 35 watts? Yep, 35. Now one of the beams are burned out. Let's see if I got another bulb. That's still good. Come by. Every time I'm doing a video. Alright, I guess I'll do another video later.